Uh, in studio right now is Devin and Brianna Mahoney. Um, these guys are, are you currently the new owners? Um, is the deal done? The deal is, the deal is done. Okay. The papers are signed. We're, uh, we'll be closed this week. It's not finally closed, but the, right. uh, the purchase agreement is signed. Done, and you're going to be yeah. done, done this week. We'll be done, done this yeah. week. There are just okay. a couple of, uh, final papers to sign and, yeah. and, uh, It's financial terminology, done, done. The boring done, done. paperwork. That's the legal term. The, so yeah, the, the right legal now term. We're done-ish, but we'll be done, done. <laughs> so, uh, before, <laughs> yeah, before me, you'll get all the legal terminology here on this program. Uh, give me the uh, your background, you guys. Um, is there somebody else in Boston too? Is it a brother or? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, no. I mean, there's someone in Boston. He's not our brother. Not oh, a brother, okay. and he's Got not it. in Boston. So uh, neither of those things are true. Okay. But, uh, 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 Rigo is our third partner, and uh, um, maybe Andrew, if you could, uh, uh, Rigo's standing by. We could probably get him to call in. If oh, that'd uh, be good too. If yeah. uh, if we get him a number to Just call. So basically, three partners. Yeah, we're me, talking me, about. Me, yes. Let me give you his number. So there's three partners, and you two are together. We're married. You're married, and uh, you're taking on this uh, this iconic structure uh, called the Uptown uh, the Uptown Theater. The Uptown Theater. You're originally from here, right? I'm from South Utica. Okay. Uh, originally, and now again, uh, we just bought a house there. Very nice. So, um, yeah, I grew up I grew up in South Utica on Proctor Boulevard, just a, a few blocks from the theater, and uh, left the area after after college. Uh, I went to graduate school. I went to college at Siena, uh, Siena College out near Albany where okay. I got my undergrad in uh, marketing and management. And then uh, after a, uh, a few jobs working around here after college, I went back to school and got my master's at the Newhouse School uh, at Syracuse, Nice, and, uh, which is where I met Brianna, uh, who was an undergrad there, uh, also in the television, radio, yes. and film program. And uh, we both independently moved out to California that same year. Um, and then have have been there uh, for almost you know fourteen. So your years roots now. really are coming from within the arts, uh, yeah. really. When you when you look at this, yeah, yeah, it worked yeah. out that way. Yeah, you know, um, we uh, we we are... both love the entertainment industry. I mean, mm-hmm. I grew up in Liverpool, um, and I also always wanted to work in TV or film. So yeah. I think you know it's it's a big move to go out there, um, yeah. especially you know when you're. Like early twenties, so um, even with a new house uh, decree behind you, it's uh, it's still big. It's a big challenge. Yeah, because we, you know, are really passionate about it, and Mm -hmm. that passion still drives us very much. Um, And we're also really um, passionate about the area where we grew up. So I think for a little while we've been trying to find a way to unite those two things. And the uptown was the perfect opportunity, which is why we're so excited. So um, tell us what your what your plans are for for the uptown. Uh, You're gonna have they developed the stage? Is the stage now built? Stage is there. Okay. Yeah, and and we didn't know, so it was an interesting. And that's new. That was probably in the last ten years when that. Right, that yeah. was Tracy uncovered that. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we. Um, in, to my in my memory, it was just ever the one, the one the screen. It was a movie theater, and yeah. then in the '90s yeah. they broke it up into a you know a couple small little theaters, um, and we didn't know what what kind of what the state was when we yeah. first had this idea. So that was actually kind of adventure trying to get in there and, and sure. figure out who owned it because we had heard that it was in foreclosure and. Um, yeah, and so trying to fa- track down who was who was actually owning it was a bit of a um, scramble. But yeah, it's the stage has been uncovered. Uh, Tracy did a lot of work uh, restoring it to the single theater. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it was built in 1927 as an old vaudeville house yeah. and, and silent movie theater. So there's some really cool old stuff in there. Like you know, there's a crank for the organ to, to you know to rise mm-hmm. up in front of the stage so they can play along with the uh, with the um, silent movies and and just some great old architecture in there and. Uh, it needs a lot of work, you know. Yeah, there's there's yeah. a lot of work to be done. Uh, but to answer your your question uh, in a way that I haven't yet, uh, we want to put a lot of money into restoring it to its re- uh, original condition. Mm-hmm. Uh, plus, you know, plus some you know modern upgrades Got to it. infrastructure and equipment, and then uh, you know turn it into a community resource and a mixed mixed use place for uh, live music. Comedy. My background's in mm-hmm. comedy. Yeah. I've been doing that for the last fifteen years, and I would love to, uh, in addition to having some performances, uh, do some classes. I, I've got an improv background. I'd like nice. to start start uh, doing some improv and stand up here in Utica. And I'm uh, looking forward to doing movies as well. Oh, wow, that's uh, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, do you? Um, so your partner is Rigo, and we do have him on the line uh, oh, right fantastic. now. Fantastic. Yeah, and Rigo Marquis. Uh, uh, I met at, at uh, the Newhouse School as well.
well. Mm-hmm. He, uh, Rigo and I moved out to California together to uh, pursue comedy writing. Uh, he has since moved back east and now works in, he runs his own, uh, well, I'll let you. T- I'll let him tell you what he does. But Rigo, he- good morning. Thanks for coming on, and congratulations on uh, on the opportunity at uh, at the Uptown. Yeah, great to be here. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's exciting times for us. So <clears throat> I, um, yeah, so I uh, I run uh, a consulting agency in advertising, and uh, I know this team here that you're talking to um, from uh, from Syracuse, and so. We've all fallen in love in a in a in a in a in the right way uh, with the with the uptown. Uh, obviously, I don't have the history. I you know listening yeah. to to Devin and, and Bree talk about uh, their connection to Utica and and to the state itself. I I obviously uh, my lens is through the Syracuse experience I had. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I have absolutely fallen in love with the the idea of bringing the uptown back. Uh, and being a part of uh, restoring what uh, what the city deserves. How much money do you guys think you have to put in? You have to put into uh, to the uptown to bring it back. What kind of dollars are you talking about, Rigo? Yeah, yeah, we have some we have some rough estimates. Of course, they're based on uh, rehab theaters that are in uh, or were in similar conditions. So yeah. we're looking at about four and a half million dollars uh, start to finish. Now. That uh, we're being told by all the consultants that we're surrounding ourselves with that have done this, that uh, that dollar amount doesn't necessarily mean that we can't start producing and holding uh, events. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's that's the, the big the big dollar amount. Yeah. So if you if you think about the the state of the building uh, today and where we want to bring it, including and I, I think I heard. Uh, Devin talking about the modernization of the equipment and stuff. We also want to bring it to this LEED certified platinum state where the building is running on uh, renewable energies as, as as much as anything else. And yeah. so there, that's the you know the, the sum total of what's going to get us to that end state. Uh, so um, so you're you're going to be able to operate. Uh, you're going to open. As soon as you guys have ownership, at some point that'll happen soon. To We're going to have a presence as soon okay. as I mean, right away. Is the theater doable right now? I'm at, it, I would it, say not. No, inside it, it's going to be a while before anybody okay. gets Got inside. It. Inside, but uh, yeah. we're looking to have a presence in the neighborhood. We're going to be doing. I want to start doing improv and, and mm-hmm. comedy right away. I want to start doing workshops. Uh, you know, we would love to do. Um, you know, video and film workshops for, you know, kids and adults. I okay. want to do improv for kids. So there are going to be, um, you know, uh, workshops and classes that yeah, we're going to yeah. are going to hit the, the ground running right away. And then as soon as uh, as soon as the space is open inside, we hope to All make right. it a, uh, a state of the art destination that, that people are going to want to come and play at. Very cool. We're excited about it. Um, and would you say your first event? Do you have a target date on when your first event will be? Um, We're no, no. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> I like how I, I, I like how well, uh, Brianna. You're <laughs> like, nope. We're we're not going to say that right now. So. We don't want to overpromise. Yeah, yeah, we don't. Uh, we could, if for a year from now, we could have a big opening party. That would be awesome. Okay. You know? All right. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. Well, I think you have a community. Uh, Rigo, thank you for taking the time this morning. We are out of time, but I think you have a community that's really excited about. We do. All this, the response so. has been fantastic. Yeah. It's been overwhelming, and uh, keep it coming. We appreciate it, and that's yeah. it, that's what makes us think this is going to be a success. Is that uh, we, it's been such an overwhelming positive response i don't know about you but uh for me it was me and my girlfriend and phoebe cates um during fast times at richmond high that uh, i first experienced oh to see that on that the big screen, movie man. yeah mm-hmm. yeah everyone's goes that's back a few years yeah. Everyone's yep. got a, an uptown memory. You have so, a yeah. memory. Something and go on Facebook. Yeah. You know, tell us what it is. We're yeah. on. We're on the Twitter and the Facebook. And uh, right. there's there's uh, utcany dot org is the website right now. Right now, we're just you can sign up uh, to uh, get on our list, and right. uh, we're gonna be reaching out really soon uh, to you know to really start engaging and talking to everybody. Very cool, guys. Thank you so much, thank Rigo. You. We appreciate you taking the time this morning.